sitting on my right, Mrs. V.M. Spindler. Does the team think children should be able to have fixed pocket money each week or be encouraged to do small jobs and earn their money? Does the team think that children ought to be able to have fixed pocket money each week or be encouraged to do small jobs and earn their money? Ted Ray. Oh, well, of course, I think Mrs. Spindler is absolutely right. If she, if she, I don't know what she thinks. She's put the question, of course, but, uh, do you agree with me, Mrs. Spindler, that it's better to sort of teach them as early as possible in life that they should uh, sort of do something to <coughs> keep in a very, very mild way? Do you think so? I do, definitely. So do I. But I do think they ought to have a small fixed amount. Like a yes, 30 yes. or 40 quid a week? No. <laughs> Just a nominal amount. How much would you call well, a nominal amount for a healthy child of, say, 15? Six months old a shilling. shilling when they are young. Pardon? When they are young. Well, about six months old. And then I think they ought to be encouraged to... Earn their money. At what yeah. age? At, uh, yes, at what age? Well, about eight or nine. Eight or nine, six months old. Oh, I was think that is disgusting. Oh, no, they Isn't no. life difficult enough when you get old and you've got to earn the money? No, the poor child surely money. must have proper pocket money and not have to earn <laughs> it. <laughs> this statement, this benevolent statement, comes from a man, I can assure you, and every time his children want haircuts, he doesn't go and have their ears lowered. <laughs> No, I think at five or six they ought to receive their pocket money. Got to After start that, to go out to work to at five and six. <laughs> um, no, 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 sir, no. Send Mrs. them down the mines like they used to. <laughs> or up chimney. You are carrying on a bit. Oh, I'm not kidding you. It sounds like Charles Dickens sitting next to me here. <laughs> Well, I felt it was time I said something. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Jimmy Edwards. I'm absolutely against all that um, uh, Cyril Fletcher... I'm glad he spoke, because I had thought he'd gone. <laughs> 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 no, I, I'm glad that he said what he said, although he's utterly wrong. Course, who do these children think they are anyway? That's what I'd like to know. Who do they think they are that they're entitled to money just because they're five? I think it's absolutely disgraceful. Oh, I should, should think the quicker the kids get a union, the better it's going to be for them. <laughs> Why did, must children presuppose that that money through, through agony, the father's gone through agony to earn it? Well, did you earn your pocket money when you were a kid? Well, as a matter of fact, I, I am a member of a very large family, and if my father had started off on the tanner a week job, he'd been out of, he'd been out of pocket straight away. I mean, there were nine of us. That'd be four and six a week. That was a week's wages in those days. So I used to, when I was about eight, as a matter of fact, this is quite true, I used to cycle across a couple of miles to a nearby... Barnes Common. ...dairy. I used to help a milkman uh, do his round. He lived in Barnes. And when you sit next to him, you can smell it. <laughs> this is quite true, and I used to get sixpence a week to help this chap with his milk round. And that, that was before going to school, of course. When and I what about you, Ted? I did a paper round, and I did. I got tuppence a week. Not sixpence. Tuppence. <laughs> tuppence a week. And mind you, I used to read all the papers. They got them late. <laughs> uh, can, can I be very serious for a moment, Mrs. Spindler? I had this idea of saying, right, I will give my daughter sixpence a week. And only yesterday, I had to go out into town. She came with me, and she brought her little money bag in which she had one and ninepence. And she said, I'm going to buy something. So I said, that's a very good idea, your own money. It finished up. She liked a gollywog that was 27 shillings, and I bought it for her. <laughs> and she's still got her one and nine. So. Well, she's a good businesswoman. You're an absolute mug. No, you're not. When she you've got a child and she says, I want that, you, and you can afford it, you say, go on, have it. would have been a Rolls Royce she'd wanted or something. Please, God, I can afford to buy her a Rolls Royce. And then she can own one and three a mile well, doing weddings and funerals. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.